Well, welcome to the Clark County Museum. My name is Amber Colbert. I'm the museum administrator. Today, we're gonna to be exploring the town's Henderson Townsite House, which was moved here in 1982 to make way for a new apartment building. Once we got it up and running in 1985, it features a little bit about Henderson, a little bit about war times, and the basic magnesium refining plant. Let's go inside and take a look. So as you come in the house, off to the left, we have what was an addition to the house. We've made this an exhibit room, which focuses on the, the history of the house and Henderson. So with the war, magnesium was needed. So they built a plant out here because right in the south of us, we have the Hoover Dam, which created enough electricity to process that magnesium. So no employees lived out here though. They had to drive from Las Vegas or Boulder City. So Basic Magnesium Incorporated decided to build 1,000 homes and we're standing in one of those homes. They were built to be temporary homes. They didn't think the war would last forever and when the war was over, people were going to move. They were quite wrong. Most of the residents wanted to stay in what was now known as Henderson. And so they went to the legislators. Nevada legislators said, come on down, look at our beautiful city. We want to keep it here. We don't want the government to surplus it. So the government legislators came down for a week and loved the city, went back up to, the north, to Carson City and passed a bill allowing Henderson to be a town that was owned by a commission. That commission was then able to sell each individual home to the residents that lived in it and we had a normal town once again. All right, on the other side of the house, we have the uh, living room. And here you can see there's two young boys playing. One's coloring and has his tricycle. The other one is listening to the radio, which was a common form of entertainment during World War II. Of course, he's got his Superman cape on because the Superman radio program once a week was very popular with the school age kids. Okay, so during World War II, there were rations. This table is full of a lot of food. Of course, some of those foods would be rationed like the Wheaties. This is the dining room of our house. Of course, this originally though was a three bedroom house and this would have been the third bedroom. A lot of the families ended up using their third bedroom as a dining room because the kitchen was so small and we'll see that in a little bit. So now I'm standing in mom and dad's bedroom, which also served for the baby. It's a small house. They had it two story, two bedroom house, but they may have had three kids. So we have, of course, represented here the baby crib, mom's belongings on her vanity, her spring Easter dress is out and ready to go. Um, and this changes with every season. So the dress may change, it may move locations. Mom might be in here taking care of the baby. You never know what you're gonna find in our houses. Right outside of the boys' bedroom, we have the bathroom. The entire family shared a small bathroom with a tub and a toilet and a sink. But right next to that, we have an original water heater from one of the townsite houses. This water heater ran from 1942 to 1986. So this house has parts and bits and pieces from all sorts of townsite houses to try to make it the most original as we could. This is one of those examples of taking something from someone else's house and putting it in here to represent what it would have looked like in 1942. All right, thank you for joining me today. And if you wanna come out and see the house yourself, you can join us at 1830 South Boulder Highway. We're open seven days a week, except for Christmas Day, New Year's Day, and Thanksgiving Day. And we're open from 9 a.m. to 4.30. Our admission is very reasonable at $1 for seniors and youth and $2 for adults. See you soon.